This is a really, really big deal. This, uh, this, this young man, uh, who unfortunately has a speech impediment, his name is Gage Hankins, and he was at the Aurora, Colorado show movie for the Batman shooting, and uh, this article is from the third day, and uh, the big deal here is he was in theater eight. He was in the theater next door, and this dude, uh, his wounds came from shrapnel wounds, specifically... They can, he, his, he has shrapnel wounds from uh, a gas grenade. So this is a gas grenade being thrown into Theater 8 before the shooting even began. He says that... <sighs> okay, Hankins says he and his friends heard a hissing noise, saw smoke, heard a loud bang, and then a lot of popping noises. Right, so... Basically, somehow, a gas canister got into Theater 8 and uh, exploded at the same time as the other gas canisters and a lot of shooting noises occurred so how you know because he's in theater eight right he's seeing smoke uh, before the bang he hears the hissing noise saw the smoke heard a loud bang and then a lot of popping noises so you know why on earth did they throw a, ga a gas can into theater eight um, I don't know. I'm still work I'm still thinking about why they would do that, but we do know that the cops ended up blocking everyone from going out in the lobby in Theater Eight uh, from the from the bottom uh, main exit. So people had to evac figure out the quote unquote figure out the projections booth door to get out of Theater Eight. So and they all remember smoke being in there. So this is a really big deal. Um, Obviously, James Holmes did not, you know, have the ability to throw a canister into theater, you know, go out, go into theater eight, throw a canister, and then run back into theater nine and throw canisters, and, you know, nobody nobody saw that, and so, I mean, proof positive that James Holmes was not alone in this.